Yo, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to talk about Herbert Jones from Alabama, who's one of my favorite players. So before we start today's video, I want to hear where do you guys think Herbert Jones is going to get drafted? And what do you guys think of him as a prospect? Hit those thoughts in the comment, like, and subscribe. Six foot seven, 215 pounds. He played four years at Alabama. Basically every season he averaged at least a steal game with two years with 1.3 and one year with 1.7. And this past year he had over a block a game and every other year he had just under a block a game. He was 35% three-point shooter this year compared to years prior he was below 30%. And he shot 45% this year and over 45% last year. And he's a guy who had 11 points, seven rebounds a game, four assists, and three turnovers a game. He's going to be a guy who I believe has elite measurements for the wing position. Six foot seven with a seven foot wingspan who has legitimate fluidity and quickness for his size. And he's really good at having his explosiveness off two feet. And on the defensive end is where he shines, okay? He uses his quickness and agility to cut off drivers to go into the basket. He uses his length and his balance to disrupt players. He's extremely switchable because of the balance mix of length and quickness. He's a bit skinny to guard five, but teams could toss him on anyone one through four and allow him to use his length and contest to stay in front. He plays super aggressive. His movements are smoother and swifter than the players that he opposes. And he's a disruptor and acted as the defensive stopper and anchor for Alabama this year. Now it's very clear his shooting, his inconsistent rhythm, his offense is a mixed bag. He's not a great finisher or self-creator. So I'm a bit higher on Herbert Jones than most, but it's very easy to project him as a high leverage role player for a winning team. And if the drop shot comes together, he's a genuine plus defender from day one. He's going to be a high-level passer. He's smart in the way he thinks about the game, high basketball IQ. His handle can tighten up when he doesn't get ripped on drives. And it all comes down to the jumper. Without it, he's probably going to be a bench player, and that's if he sticks. Look at someone like Justice Winslow, who can't really get off the bench for Memphis. Winslow's similarly skilled as Jones, and probably better, but he can't get off the floor because he can't shoot. And unless you have all, like absolute optimal circumstances that you're like such a good defender, which is rare, like Ben Simmons, then you're not going to get on the thing. So given everything we know about Jones, his character and work ethic, I'm willing to bet that that jump shot is going to get to a place where it works and he's going to be a borderline starter or a high usage role player off the bench. And I think his range in the draft is beginning of the second round, maybe even slips into the first, but he's not getting where out of the top, you know, the 45th pick. So yeah, that's that's it for me. Let me hear your thoughts down below, guys. Herb Jones, like and subscribe.